Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we are going to take a look in on the DIY stacked bin. Pull the lid off here, get a little closer, and see what they're doing. Looks like the leaf bedding is going over well. We'll dig through and see if we can find any food left. Good concentration of worms throughout. but no real food. I did not look at the last video to remind myself of where I fed. It looks like the moisture is doing really well. Worms seem super happy. And you say, how is it that you know that your worms are happy? Well, they're staying in the bin. They're making babies. Uh, I don't see little smiling faces, but I do see them locked up, which is an indication of they like their environment, because they're making babies. Alright, let's move on to the next layer. So, this is kind of a controversial part of the bin. I do see a bunch of worms in here all the time, even though, even if I try and get them out of this layer, they move back in this layer. I don't know if they just prefer it because it's less disturbed, or I don't know. This is a mixture of the red worms, the blue worms, and the European night crawlers. Doesn't smell funky down here. You can tell it's pretty wet all the way to the edge of not really wanting it to be any wetter than this. When we get down to the third layer, it's going to probably be wetter than that. But they are still happy down here. They, I have tried actually just putting the last few layers of just bedding and the worms will still move into it. So they they do like it, any way you look at it. So if they're happy, I'm happy, as I've said before. See, look, little blue worm hitching a ride on me. All right, buddy, off you go. I don't see any, except for little avocado shell and stem of something. Alright, on to the last layer. Right after I get rid of the hitchhikers. Of which there's quite a few today. Okay. Down to the bottom of the bin. You can tell this is just pure castings in here. And it's, as I said, too wet. So I'm going to relocate some of this and put it on an upper layer and put some drier stuff down here. So when we get to the next video on this bin, we'll come and we'll look, and I will not have put any worms down here, and yet they will be down here nonetheless. I think they're curious, or each one of them has their own personality or something, 
different parts of their lifespan. They choose to be in a different kind of area. I'm not sure. If anybody knows, please uh, comment below. You know, is it younger worms that like to be in the really wet area? Is it breeding age? Who knows? If you know, let me know and put the comment down there. Let me get some bedding. All right, I've got some partially decompost or composted leaf matter. And uh, looks like it comes with its own worms. Looks like red worms. All right, I'm also going to put in a handful of coconut coir. This should keep it drier because, of course, that liquid that I pulled from down here has got to go somewhere, right? And uh, just in case anybody wants to know, I do buy this. This is Mother Earth. That's the brand name. I don't get any kickbacks. Uh, I do. It comes in a big block. I get it wet. I rinse it, pour the water out, rinse it again, pour the water out, and then let it sit. Never had any problems with the worms liking it or being hurt by it. I buy it for my plants, I don't buy it for the worms, but in a pinch it does a really good job of equalizing moisture when you need it to. So I'm going to take these downtown worms and put them on the top, leave the middle of the bin at about the same layer that it was before. Otherwise, it'll just get more compacted. Not that they seem to care, but it makes it heavy for me. And what the heck, let's, let's go ahead and give them a little coconut coir as well. And now, put back the top layer. Bitch, it's super heavy. Now that I put the whole bottom layer in the top layer. <laughs> This is also a chest height for me, um, which is great for filming, not so good for picking things up. I'm only 5'5", five five. so this puts this almost at shoulder level. So I'm going to leave the lid off of this so this can dry. All right, well, we do have everything put back together, and I'm going to give them a bit of a feeding. So, leaves from a plant, an avocado that I bought that was rotten when I got it, a little bit of melon. There's a lot of worms in here, so they should more than be able to handle that. There's probably maybe five pounds of worms in this system between the three layers. All right, well, let's cover up that. so the gnats don't get at it. But I'm going to leave this uncovered today. I'm not going to put any bubble wrap on there. I'm not going to put a lid on it. As you can tell, that's super sticky. We don't need any more of that, and it can dry out. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody, have a good day.